Well, let's see what are we doing there. So, before I go for the last darkest dungeon, let me read the description, by the way. Your enemy is vast, sprawling, and must be destroyed from within. Slog through the twisting maze and find your way to its throbbing heart. Belly of the Beast. Four campfires. Exhausting. Activate one locust beacon. O okay. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, so before I go for that, mm, let's actually finish the rest of the bosses. So it's one long mission, and then immediately the boss after that for Ruins. Same is true for Cove. And two more long missions for Warrens. Do we have a long mission there right now? Seems like it. Okay. So, um, I want to try something. Mm, I kinda used the similar setup, I think, at the very beginning, though I didn't really use Man at Arms, but... I want to test it for my future playthrough, and the idea would be, well, it's not the, it's not an idea, really, it's just that I want to try some classes that I didn't really pay that much attention lately to, which is Houndmaster and Arbalest, and also this is a team composition that I potentially could use, though I doubt it would be efficient, but... Maybe. Okay, so let's try something like this. Okay? And um, let's do some treatment. Like... Those are not even bad, necessarily. Still kinda need to get rid of them, though. So, you have the fits. I'm okay with the fits. I don't even mind them. So just leave it like this and get rid of your disease, and that's it, right? Okay. So, in terms of uh, treatment ward, the worst thing is Calm on one of the shield breakers. Um, yep. And then... Some of you, like, someone also had something unpleasant. I don't exactly remember. No, 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 no. Was it like one of the... my newest Helion? Was it that one? Uh, so she treats the disease... No, she's just minus 5 accuracy to ranged, which is... kinda irrelevant. What is Paranormania? Obsessed with, with the paranormal. Well, you're still strong enough. Well, maybe actually... maybe I should just exchange you with one other... with this one, with this Vestal. So, you just go and treat your Paranormania then. And anyone else? Don't really care about those. Faithless. That's okay. Well, actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's actually get rid of the Night Blindness as well. It's like, probably it doesn't really do much, but who knows, man. And let's reinforce Resilient. Well, maybe not. Doesn't really matter that much anyway. So, something like that. Um, and then, let's upgrade the weapons. So, I didn't really work on the Arbalest before. Oh, so they are all freaking out now, every single one of them. <laughs> I'll need to stop the video to see what is actually happening. Are you freaking out? Well, you seem fine. <laughs> What's up with that? Are you okay? Okay. Anyway, uh, what was I doing? So, yeah, um, about your skills, though. So... I would like to use marks, potentially, in this squad. That is, like... One of the ideas for it. The question is, who does that? So, Rallying Flare doesn't even do much, realistically. Like, I played for a while now, and I'm not really impressed by it. I think I could actually go for the Sniper Mark on the Arbalest. And sometimes I could see it being somewhat useful. Suppressing Fire is like, eh, very eh. Bola is eh-ish. 
I mean, unless you want to use knockback, then maybe it's okay. Well, anyway, um, let's get the mark. Then blind fire for sure. Sniper shot for sure. 100% damage versus mark. That's a lot of damage, actually. A lot of damage. Oh, you are freaking out. Okay. Um, get the bandage as well. And you are set, I think, right? Yes, you are set. Now, what's about the Houndmaster? So, the same idea for the marks is for the Houndmaster as well. Kinda need that thing. Maxed, and then... AOE is probably not necessary. Also marks while debuffing for protection. I mean, I can get rid of leak wounds. Yeah, you know what? That's actually kind of okay. Oh, this is a weird one. I actually want to upgrade it. I want to see how good it gets. Minus 6, 74% chance. This is a weird ability. So it only affects the... Wait. Last positions? Or does he have to be in the last position to use it? That's complicated. Um, I need to sell some trinkets, by the way. So, sell, like... What can we sell? Well, anything. <laughs> All of that, honestly. Um, one blasphemous vial. And then, like... Some random common trinkets. I'm never using common trinkets, let's be real. Yeah, that should be good enough. So... Well, realistically, I need a stun. If you're position 2, you do need a stun. So, this should be happening. Then, like, leak wounds is not happening, for sure. And, uh, it's only those two skills that need to happen. So, this is, uh, main skill and also works better against marked, which is good. And then it's either AoE... Distress and a target whistle as well. So marks and also debuffs the protection. Mm hmm. I think I can ignore the distress. I don't think I care about that that much. But I kind of want to test it though. Okay, so let's do the following. I will not really level up the whistle for now. I'll just leave it like this. Kinda just want to see how much better does it become. Okay, I see. Uh, so anyway, I'll just ignore that for now. By the way, is, is it a better debuff chance than what Arbalest has? Where is the Arbalest? Yeah, actually, it is better. Or not. It's, uh, I mean, accuracy is 120 and 140% for debuff. But it's debuff for dodge, though. No, but it marks always. It's just debuff is a separate thing. So it doesn't really matter that much anyway. But yeah, it's a better chance, though, for protection debuff. So, um, anyway, I want to test this thing. I want to understand what it does exactly. So let's just go with that. And... Um, this will be the setup for now, and probably later I'll just switch to something like that instead. But for now, just leave it as this. Now, Vestal is very normal. There is nothing unusual about her. Normal setup. And uh, yeah, also need to upgrade the equipment, obviously. How much HP do you have? <laughs> 37! Oh my god. You're so dead. Dead. Yeah, I'm not sold on him being positioned too. It's just like one crit and he's dead. Well. So, um... Survival. Survival skills. Or actually, let me think about the men at arms. Here's one thing that I want to try. I'm not sure if it will work well at all. At all. But I want to try it. So the idea would be... The idea would be to try and use Bellow. Oh, they also freak out. Really? Um, so yeah, use Bellow. 
the idea is that if minus 7 speed happens from the debuff, then it's basically the same for, like, higher speed targets as stunning them, right? Like, if, let's say, a target has 10 speed, and I just apply minus 7 speed to it, it basically skips one turn. And my, like, Arbalest and Hound Master will be able to attack it before it goes next turn, right? And that means I can just skip on the stun, because Bellow actually affects everyone, and it also decreases dodge, and it also increases the crit receive chance plus 5%, well marked. 5% is not remarkable, but that's the idea behind it, right? So I can exchange the stun for it, and then try something like that. So purely like buffs, debuffs, and stuff like that, and let's just see how it goes, I don't know. Uh, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, but that's what this run is for, pretty much. So, what do you have? What do you have? What is this? Kinda need that, actually. What is this? Hound's Watch? Yes. Release the Hound? No. <laughs> no. No. Not happening. Um, let's get uh, Man's Best Friend. And then, like, just... Leave it like this. Yes. Your setup is normal. What about Arbalest? That's decent. I can actually sacrifice some speed. I don't think so. Oh, that's... I hate... I hate your setup so much. Can I sell something? Like... Those things? Yeah. Hate all of that as well. Okay, and also sa sell some of those commons. Okay, something like this. So, yeah, I hate your setup. Let's actually fix it. So, first of all... Plus two speed to all companions. No. Yes. Yes. Yes to this one. And yes to encourage. What is this? So, good heal. No, but that's... Uh, I think that was the thing that might not even work. It might heal for zero. Which seems counterintuitive, but it can. That's not good. I mean, I can just leave it like this. I'm never using anything else anyway. So, yeah, you know what? That's kind of okay. So, can heal sometimes, but, like, usually will not really do that. And I think that's about it, right? If I'm not forgetting about anything. So, oh, right. Uh, it was Froissart, actually. Who comes with us? I'm not really using Bless, but... I can actually just use Chant instead. I I'm not... I I'm never using Bless, let's be real. So, something like this. Now, Trinkets. Um, oh, this is tough. I need a map. You might as well just hold it, because you only really do buffs and debuffs, so who cares? You might as well just handle that. And then probably Boots. No. Maybe Goblet. So just get the Goblet, and then try to, like, go first to do some debuffs, maybe? Then we also have the um, Sniper's Ring, I think it was called, that I never really used much. But I, we should have it. <laughs> I mean, I didn't sell it and, like... Right? Right? I never sold it. Should be there somewhere. How does it look like, even? That's Focus Ring. That's Sun Ring. Uh... I'm sorry. Am I just not seeing it? No, that's, uh, that's the Ancestor's Ring. This, this thing. I don't even need that, though. That's horrible. <laughs> okay, no, I don't really need that. So, just get some damage. Need some speed, actually. So, probably candle. Um, Yeah, probably candle and maybe crescendo box as well. Kinda need something to do about the speed levels. Well, not necessarily crescendo box. By the way, for the Hound Master, it has to be Barristan's head, or you're just not surviving. 
it has to be, I'm sorry. And honestly, maybe even the signet ring. I mean, yeah, but he needs that protection though. He's not surviving his position too without that. Just one crit and he's dead. Um, you get the healing. And you get the... Hmm, accuracy? Can get like focus ring, for example, for some accuracy. Or sun ring. Doesn't really require to get rid of any dodge, so... What about this thing, by the way? Same idea, so like speed, damage. A bit less damage, but crit though. Crit is better. And also it's uh, not conditional, and it doesn't really increase any stress, so... Not necessarily better, but seems okay. I am not sure about the goblet, but... Yeah, let's try it though. Let's try it. So, something like this. And I think we're fully ready. So... Yes. So, let's go for the Warrens now. And for one of the long missions, it's either explore 90% 90, 90 of rooms. That's a lot of rooms. Or just 100% of room battles. Let's go for room battles. Regardless, it's the Mustache Cream. Which is not really necessary at all. But we'll go for that anyway. Get like 3 stacks of food. So, um... I'll need to use those dog treats, potentially, later. I'll try to get them with me, as far as I can, this time. That's kind of the point of this run as well. Honestly, I'm not even sure about... I I'll leave those Aegis scales, actually, you know what? That's okay. Like, if some of my people die, then so be it. I only really care about the Men at Arms and Vestal from this squad. And even them I can lose, if it uh, gets to that point. I would rather not to, but, you know, if it happens, it happens. So, just get something like this and go. Anything I'm forgetting about? No, I don't think so. We really might not have enough damage, though, that's the issue. Well, let's just see how it goes. We really might not have enough damage. We really might not have enough damage. I probably should get rid of this guard. Yeah, but he doesn't have any protection, though. I don't know if I'm happy about this. The damage is just not there. Well, we can use marks, but with Vestal, if Vestal could mark them, that would be okay. But, like... She can, though. By the way, get the judgment, please. That actually helps. That actually helps quite a bit. Um, but yeah. Maybe even go for a crush instead of a stun. Just for damage. Oh, instead of what, though? Bolster? I mean, I can try to get rid of the defender. That doesn't really, like... Is he freaking out because he's um, he has the darkest dungeon cleared, or is it for any any of my guys? Anyway, let's try this. No, but stun is better though. If I'm doing this, I would better just go for stun. I don't know. This is tough. Okay, let's. I'm really not comfortable with uh, leaving this ability out. I need it. I need all of this. No, let's just try it. Let's go in. See how that goes. The swine are resistant to disease. Why would I care? I'm not really trying to bring any disease to them. That sounds very questionable as a plan. That's so compact, look at this. Oh, that's so pleasant to look at. Um, let's start with this thing. So, we do battles. We do battles. We need to do all of the battles. I can, um, can get this, but doesn't really do anything. 
She just proceed, I guess. You don't have enough trap. 95. 60. So you're the best at this. Okay. Unless I want to swap my map around, which I can't really do at the moment. What is the dog treats, by the way? Okay, so I can't really know about this. I don't exactly... I don't remember the exact numbers, so... Oh, well, let's go. Well. Yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's with, like, with the signet ring and with the... With all the stuff. With all of it. But it's still horrible. So I can apply a lot of bleed, but... It doesn't really solve anything. Definitely should... What is the debuff, by the way? Minus dodge, minus speed. Should get rid of that as well. So, um... I'm using one dog treats. What does that do? 50 damage, 15 accuracy. Hmm. I could try to get the meat hooker. Hound's rush. Try to get rid of the madman. Can, like, maybe sometimes kill this guy in two hits. Or three hits if the Vestal helps. We kind of need to go for it, I think. The Madman is not the issue there. Like, we can deal with the Madman. But that thing does a lot of damage. So much damage. Honestly. Honestly. Should I guard him? Like, guarding might actually be okay. Bolster is okay. Bellow is uh, too fancy. No, not Bellow. I think Guardian is uh, kind of mandatory there. Or he just dies, I feel like. Judgment for sure. Good. One more shot, maybe? Maybe. Good. Okay. Well, that solves the issue. So, considering that I need to use Doctrit sometimes, this squad, or any squad with uh, Hound Masters, will be better at um, shorter missions, ideally. Bolster, please. And now you should just really kill the Madman. So yeah, long missions, I'm not so sure about. Yeah, looking at this, I think guard is, as ability defender, is necessary for men at arms. This is like, this is not working out without it. If I didn't have guard there, I wouldn't be safe for sure. So yeah. That should be happening. So let's say I use Bellow, right? Oh, that's some good debuffs. Not as good as I thought it would be. No, that's actually, that's correct. That's minus 10 dodge and minus 7 spin. That's uh, exactly right. Okay, now, the question is... Oh, you can only move back. I see. You can, like, bandage one of them. Uh, marking doesn't really do anything. So let's say you bandage. Now, the next thing I would like to try is to exchange the positions with my Houndmaster. Can you get off my back from my Vestal already? God damn it. So anyway... Get him back. And I just want to see if I can actually use this distress. Yeah, I can use it on anyone. So I just need to switch positions and then we're golden. We can just go for it. Wait, what? I wasn't even trying to do that. Did I misclick? Wait, what? I pressed at the man at arms. No, but, but I did though. What's up with that? Can I stun you? Okay, so just bandage her then. And we'll guard her later. Like this.
So you can use a distress, but it's very wonky though. Oh, it's AoE, kinda. Okay, okay. I'm in, actually. That sounds incredible, in fact. So, uh, command them. The blood quickens. So, the problem is, if we do something like this and just use this distress thing, the problem is then, I'm not sure how we, like, prolong the fight. Because there's only one stun, and it's on the Vestal, who is, uh... Healing, normally. So she can't really be stunning that much. Which means that uh, Man at Arms kinda has to stun them. That has to be the case, right? So this setup is not really working. Maybe get rid of the bolster. Oh, I, I can't. It's so strong, though. But realistically, though, am I ever using it? In normal fights. Maybe, like, against Shambler or something. So... Do I get any any of those? I don't think so. Don't think so. No, just get rid of them. Uh, it's not really about money anymore. Leave the storage there. Leave this thing as well. And kill some witches, hopefully. Let's just go for her immediately. Destroyed! Indeed. Uh, can't really do much else. Just stun them, maybe. What is the chance, by the way? 150%. So 10% more than usual, pretty much. Um, well. Below. So, the idea for Bellow would be to use the use it against, like... It's a lot of damage already. Uh, would be to use it against normal enemies, and uh, we need to kill them. In those three turns. Because if it ends, and we still didn't kill them, then it's pretty much a waste. It only works as a stun substitute if we can actually deal with them before that happens. So it only is applicable for normal fights, and that might be a bit of an issue. It's really not that much damage. Yeah, but it's enough though. It's enough to like, kill most of them. I hate it. Um, I think it's just time for guarding. He'll probably target the Houndmaster again. Heal, please. The flesh is knit. Yeah, and now that Bellow ran out... Well, I don't really like this when there is only one guy at position 1. We can't really do anything with him. Like, can blind fire, but doesn't even uh, hit him guaranteed. Yeah, there are some problems for sure. So, skip. Skip probably. Need all of my stuff. I mean, I don't know. Let's just try to go for the Thunderer immediately. Yeah, probably. 
Not a fan. Oh, so much not a fan. 14, and that's it. Well, that's not too bad. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. So, can I stun anyone? Can try. Doesn't really do much. Just heal then, probably. That's good. So, I think the idea would be that you try to kill this guy with AoE. That's 90% for bleed to work. So, I think I'll just go for that. Okay. The Thunderer is dead. And then, bolster, please. Kinda need to do something about the stress. Fine. So... Yeah, you can't really do much. can blind fire and just hope it hits the meat hooker. Or can just shoot at the champion normally. Let's say we, like, snipers mark him, right? So dodge is zero now. Still has some protection. It's not even permanent, though. It's just three rounds. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforeseen. So you heal. Uh, we probably will kill this guy with some other attack. You can't really, like, finish him, right? Yeah. Just heal. We'll deal with that. Okay. Um, now you just try to kill him. Good. What is the buff, by the way? Plus bleed skill chance? Is that the buff? Seems like it. For one round? That's not very impressive at all. So, uh, you just hit them now. That is a lot of damage with a mark. I, I'll admit that. So, just do one command. We can actually even do double guarding, potentially. Does it even work well? Like, potentially, this buff applies more damage while guarded. So, what if, like, what if my man at arms guards the Houndmaster, who guards the Arbalest? Is it a double guard? It sounds like way too much work for not enough output. A lot of stress. Probably should just... Campfire after this one. The ground quake. Sixty-four percent was it for a crit? That's decent damage. Like when we get to it, actually, and set up some skills. That is decent damage. But I feel like we might just not have enough. Mm. Not have enough, like, survivability. Because, you know, if we get the, yeah, that's pretty good. But, like, can we even get there, though? My Houndmaster is not particularly survivable, so... I don't really see any point in opening all of those uh, curios. Maybe I'll go for that later? Maybe? We'll see. No real reason for it, though. So... Who are we targeting? I think the this guy is not that bad. If you mark someone that I don't really want to be marked, I can just guard them. So just kill the heaver, probably. You... Bello is... Is actually decent. I think Bello is actually pretty good there. It kind of works like a mass stun. I will kill at least two guys, I think. No, it's probably, it's probably only one guy. It's a Thunderer, though. I'll probably be able to kill the Thunderer. Which might be good. And also apply some minus dodge, so... Don't think I want to use any drop treats, so just kill this guy. And can we stun the Thunderer? Yeah. And ideally, we just kill it next turn. So now even my Vestal should go before it next turn, which uh, which is the idea. 
behind the bell low. Um, bolster probably. And now we just kill this guy. Bam. Kinda. Bam. Yep. Stun the Slayer. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to uh -huh. follow it. I don't know. Can Vestal be at position too? No. No. There will be no targeted healing then. No, she would be even worse at that. Well... Well... Well, actually... Actually, you know what? Maybe that's the idea. Get her to position two. I don't even need the maze bash, really. I can just get, like... I don't know. This is pointless. But yeah, maybe get her there. And at least then... Uh, she actually has more HP than Houndmaster. I can give her... No, but I can't give her the protection trinkets though. That's the issue. Because then she will just have no healing at all. No, no, it has to be like that. If I'm taking Houndmaster... Unless, like, I want to exchange Arbalest for someone else who would take his position. It has to be like that. Which is, yeah, it's unfortunate. Maybe, like, mm, maybe, maybe the critical thing is to get, um, I think, uh, I don't remember how it was called, the ability that gives you plus 10% protection. Maybe that's the critical thing about it. And maybe that's, like, what the Houndmaster really needs for this setup. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, what are we doing? Let's kill the Midhooker. You are, like, protecting someone, probably. Kinda need to just apply some more protection to men at arms. And then you kill this guy. And you just heal. Slowly, gently. Also, another problem is... The only one who can actually get my Houndmaster to position 3 for distressing is Vestal. And if she doesn't go before Houndmaster, like it happened right now, then uh, he would need to move there by himself, which is very... You know? Just... I don't know. Very inconvenient, he will just lose one turn to move there. I can just not use the distress ability at all, which seems wrong though. But I could, I guess. Blind fire. Kinda need to get rid of this guy somehow. Okay, and I think distressing is just... Uh, I don't know if I like it in this fight. We probably should just finish it. Maybe just apply some more guard? And then, like, stun? So, we kinda need to win at this point. I'm pretty sure we very soon will start, like, receiving stress damage. Uh, just kill him. Just kill him. Food, please. And that's about it. I don't think I'm using firewood yet. It's not really enough stress, I feel like. And there is also a trap immediately after that, so that will help with the uh, stress levels. I don't really need to follow it up. We can return immediately. I don't really care about this room, so just go for this room. Don't care about the box. I don't remember this thing. Money? We'll return to that. And the ghoul! The ghoul! Kill the maggots, please. That's bad. I hate it. Oh, you're at position 3, which is actually fine. Well, for this fight, it's fine. It's not really that much fine, normally. I will actually use one bolster there. It's really good against the ghoul. Yeah. 
Yeah. Not too bad. I like that. So, AoE, please. And then hitting this thing doesn't really do anything. But then again, someone needs to kill it, though. Well, let's just hope that my Houndmaster goes first. Or my blind fire hits from the Arbalest. That would be the best case. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I hate it. Okay. Okay. No diseases, at least. So, um... One more AoE. Probably should kill the Maggot. Yeah, that kills it. And then we just heal. And let's just mark it, I suppose. It still should be the Houndmaster who marks it, actually. Um, one more heal. I mean, trying to stun it is kind of pointless. Maybe should have killed the maggot. Then again, maybe not. Yeah. Well, this target is okay. Don't mind it that much. Uh, one distress, please. He's debuffed, so we should have some time now. And then you shoot. That's decent damage. Like, when everything is set up, it's not bad. And, by the way, I'm not sure we would ever even fight the Shambler with the setup. Like, ever. Because the problem is that, like, the positions are getting shuffled when we get to the Shambler. And uh, Arbalest can't really handle that well, so... I can really use one campfire at this point. Not really a problem. God damn it, I forgot to exchange the Vestal position again. Uh, bolster? Command? Probably command. Has to be better. Alright. Uh, well, at this point, just try to shoot the Heaver. Good. Why do you have that much crit chance, by the way? <laughs> What's up with that? Oh, that is the remainder from the previous fight? God damn. That's impressive. Uh, we should probably just kill the Madman. Like, this is also a bit of a problem. We can't really kill him. That's the issue. So, we kinda, like, have to waste one turn on getting rid of him. Which is, uh, just seems wrong, but... I mean, someone needs to kill him. But, like, there is no small attack that we could do with this squad. Or AoE attack, really. There is just only a uh, AoE attack from the Houndmaster, which doesn't really help that much in that sense. So, Bello, I think. No, Bello doesn't even help. He's uh, very slow already, so... Bolster. Get some dodge. And then just Sniper's Mark. Let's go in. It really should be... It should be a mark on the Houndmaster for sure. This is not good enough. Heal. Like, I don't really want to reduce his dodge. Because I can increase accuracy with uh, Men at Arms. It's uh, really more about reducing protection, if anything. That's some decent crit chance. Right. 
Right? And then ideally we just stun him. God damn. Uh heal? Or just stun really. Try to. Not even stun, but more like crit. Okay, at this point, might as well just use one of the campfires. Not really a problem. And also, like, if we're using a feast, don't really need the stack of food as well. So just do something like this. Can stockpile some gold, I suppose. So what are we doing? Uh, probably Hound's Watch. Better than Sanctuary. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm in. And then what? Some distress for men at arms. Maybe like one tactics. One tactics and then uh, double encourage. Therapy dog is pretty good actually. Okay. Um, let's do, like, one therapy dog, and then one tactics. Actually, restring crossbow, I think, and then encourage. This will be the plan. In Radiance, may we find and let's victory. actually return the order, finally. Uh, that's probably food. Do I care? No. Let's do that anyway. If only treasure Hell no. The flow of Actually, I, I really don't need the one of the shovel stacks. But I also don't need any of those, so... Who cares? Another one of those things. Uh, let's actually start collecting stuff. And there is a fight, so torch levels are fine. Let's go. Heaver. It's either Command or it's Bellow. I think Bellow is actually really good there. Some minus dodge and then uh, we'll be able to effectively use it. Since we'll be able to kill like all of them probably in these three turns. Um, like crit is good. But you see the problem is like if I wasn't able to kill it with one shot then I would be... Uh, then I would need to, like, do the same with Arbalest. That's, like, so much overkill by so much. It just feels wrong. Unnerved. Unbalanced. Would really benefit from having, like, one weaker guy with, uh, with some AoE, maybe. Bolster? Right now, I would just use one of my melee attacks to kill them, if I had it. Yeah, I do want one. I don't want to have a uh, attack on my men at arms for sure. Definitely helps. Right, not a fan. So, you do one Cry Havoc, and we just kill him. Well, could heal. Well, let's actually apply one Bandage, and then we kill him. Actually, should have done that to the Houndmaster, because uh, she can heal anyway. No, she can't. Can't really use Judgment at position too, I see. Stun them. Now, you heal, and we win. Ideally, we win by the Houndmaster just killing it. Okay. Uh, Blindfire? That's good enough. Have some stress on the Houndmaster, but it doesn't really matter. Really don't need that many torches. That's uh, very unnecessary. And just continue. Can actually get rid of one of the shovels.
So, do something like this. Do we see stuff? No. Oh, joy. Let me return the order. Yeah. What does that do? Nothing really, some stress. No. No. Bloodthirsty. Well, uh, not horrendous, I suppose. That's actually a decent time to use my dog treats. But then again, don't really need it. Well, kinda needed it. The light, the promise of safety. Is it the marking ability? No, it's a blight ability. Um, Bellow is pretty good there for sure. Double resist. Okay, so can you just kill this one? Nope. I'll need one AoE there then. From the Houndmaster. A lot of blight. So, you please use the anti-venom. And then probably just judgment this guy. Yeah, and then one more AoE and we should be fine. You probably should ignore those uh, wounded spiders. I hope I can kill them with AoE. And he goes last. Well then, command. Give him a bit better accuracy. Ah, and the stun. Of course, of course. Of course it is. Of course it is. Right. Right. That makes sense. Okay, uh, you kinda need to guard him, because if this uh, other spider goes for him right now, that could end badly. Now, you AoE. That's still good enough, I'm okay with that. And we just bandage, please. AoE heal. Need to finish this fight already. Well, we'll do that. I would like to do at least one more healing from, like, anyone, though. Try to stun? Okay, and then, like, we need one more hit. So, whoever goes first... I guess if you go first, you just heal, and then Arbalest, hopefully... We'll be able to finish this thing. Good. Remind yourself that overconfidence I mean... is slow and insidious killer. Mean. Don't really need those. Nah. It's okay. Packs laden with loot. Food? Some food. And scouting. Like to see that. Don't like to see the obstacle, though. I mean, uh, there is no reason to go back. Let's actually continue through this hallway. I still have some shovels. Like, not really a problem. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. No scouting. Um, is only the first test. I don't need torches anymore. Another stack of them. That's good enough. So, how about we just kill the maggots? I think the best idea would be to buff accuracy. And then, the bestest thing is if you stun this one, okay? And you just one shot. Each of those maggots. Oh, I can't even do that, though. Can't even shoot at the last one with my arbalest now. God damn it. 
Okay, thanks, I hate it. That's fine. Why do I have, like, minus two speed for one battle? Oh, it's because of the... Because of the thing, of the campfire thing. What is this? Why are you giving it to me? I don't need it. Who are you? Large Flesh Eater. So I can minus dodge either of them. Should apply it. That's so much crit chance. God damn, look at this. I sh just should shoot at this. <laughs> That's so much crit chance. Okay, uh, I can bellow. No, bellow doesn't do enough. Just bolster for now. Bolster like once and then we'll see about it. And right there, I actually would like to use a mark from my Houndmaster, but he doesn't have one. That's a bit of a problem. Okay, so you just stun this thing. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. There is like there is something to this squad, but there are some problems that I are not solved yet, let's put it this way. It's not bad, but like there are some issues though. So guard the Vestal please. And then the idea is we just Heal the Flesh Eater, and Vestal just starts to heal everyone. And that's the plan. Didn't really even have to guard her, I suppose. So yeah, so those, like, two enemy attacks, like, against two people, you can still guard against them, apparently. That is just a thing. That is how the game functions. Interesting. Is it uh, like AOE against all of your squad that you can't really protect against? Yeah, just apply a mark and we just go for it. One more heal. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Stun, probably. Uh... Well, I mean, one more... Even Bello, I guess, is good enough. Doesn't really matter. Like, in this situation, though, stun would be better than Bello. Well, not necessarily. I mean, it's... Uh, Bello has a better chance of working, because uh, debuff... Resistance is not that high compared to stun. And like, if stun resistance is low for the enemy, then Vestal always has a stun, so that's not a problem. But if in this case I don't have Bello, well, in this case I don't really need Bello. But the point is like, if uh, the enemy has high stun resistance, but low debuff resistance, if I don't have Bello, I can't really use that fact. Like, I'll just have to, like, try to stun him with all of his resistance on, and can't really do much about that. So, what are we doing? Mm, portraits, probably. That's a lot of fights. I think I'm using campfire in this room. So, I think the idea would be to get rid of portraits, get the gems, and then we go in. And after this fight, I think I'm using the campfire. I hate it. Oh, by the way, I hate this setup so much. How much damage do you do? That's a lot of damage, but we can't go for the Thunderer. This guy is a problem. We need to get rid of him. This is a problem. I, I hate it. I hate it. Oh, I hate it. We need to kill this guy. This is a problem. Now, okay, um... I would like to stun the Thunderer, 
I also should have used the treats, by the way. Mm. Should actually probably go for this. And if I use the treats... Okay, it's still enough, but barely. Barely. But yeah, should have used treats. And then... Uh, this would have been much better. So, Bellow, probably. This is a really good opportunity for it. Resist, though. 55%? Okay. Okay. That's fine. So just uh, command. Let's kill the Thunderer. Heal probably. Not really need to do anything special at this point. Yeah, you know, like, distress thing, Cry Havoc, is not that important, considering that uh, we actually do a lot of crits. And when we do a lot of crits, it's not like we really need distressing, you know? Because it happens naturally. And also can just do that in, uh, at campfires. So, yeah. Again, one more case where I would like to have uh, some damage ability, and I don't. I like the squad though, kinda. It's like, it has issues, I need to fix them, but I think it's fixable. And then it actually has some... has something to it. Um, one more bellow maybe? Can we kill him in like one turn after that? Probably not. A momentary abatement. Yeah, so like try to go all in for crits maybe. And just try to get distrust this way and completely ignore cry havoc. Which would allow me to get a mark from the Houndmaster. Hmm. Then maybe Bola. Actually, yeah, maybe then I exchange the Sniper's Mark for Bola. And that would actually allow me to have a... Um, ability that can hit the first Frontliner consistently. That is somewhat useful, I suppose, yeah. So, uh, use this. I don't really care about the rest. Mm, no, I don't think so. Don't think so. No. What was the curio, by the way? I probably just... Oh, that was the thing that... Yeah. <laughs> that was the thing that can give you, like, stress plus 60. No, thank you very much. So, uh, use the campfire. Use the rest of my food, and then let's see. Just buffs. Just buffs, that's easy. So, Hound's Watch, and then just definitely Tactics. I love Tactics. And either Rustering Crossbow or just Weapons Practice. This is so much damage. So much damage. And she's the main damage dealer, let's be real. Yeah, sure, I'm in. Okay. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Well, uh, I should command in the circumstances and try to get the witch in two shots. Yeah, okay. Would have liked Arbalest to go first, obviously, but... Oh well. Yeah, I hate it. The will to fight falters. 
That's fine, though. Um, use, like, one bellow. Kill the guy who resisted. And then you should probably maybe try to stun another one. Can you kill this with this guy with judgment? Basically. He's not dead yet, really? Really? I have to kill him now. God damn it. And then uh, heal probably. And then let's hope we can actually kill the last one. Not necessarily the case. Actually, should stun. And blind fire. And then... It will be a fight immediately after that. Actually, should just use, like, one command. Because it will still be applied to us. Even after this fight ends. So, like... Yeah, I don't really want to stay there for longer, but could potentially, like, apply more buffs or try to. That's kinda relevant. Might be. Citrine? Yeah. So, kill the witch. Just immediately go for that. And let's see... Hmm. Well. Well. Bolster probably in this circumstance. And then... Can you just kill her for sure? Not really for sure, no. But very good chance though. I'll just use this dog treats. Wasn't really necessary. But there is not... Not a problem, really, with uh, using Dog Treats. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? That we get, like, a Shambler fight that I don't have Dog Treats for? It's not like I really need anything anymore from the Shambler fight anyway. So, I'll, I'll still do the Shambler fight, by the way, if I get it. But, like, it's just mostly for educational purposes and entertainment, I suppose. It's not like I really need anything from the Shambler. Bellow? Probably not. Just command. So, first of all, kill the champion, please. And one more stun, and we should be good enough. Good. He's dead. And then let's concentrate on the champion. Yo, both champions. On the Swine Tour champion. Do I heal? No. Just hit this guy. Stun? Stun is so much weaker when the mark is already applied. Kinda have to just hit him. Guard, please. Just in case. And you heal. So, Bellow? Well, it doesn't really matter. Command is the same thing. It's just for dodge, like, removal or accuracy increase. Doesn't exactly matter which one do I use. Um, not sure. You can try to stun. Like, I still want to heal. I will heal. Yeah. 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 Can we heal still? Yeah, I'm really not happy about this. Oh, actually, that might be okay. Bleed? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now we can actually heal. And even kill it with the uh, Arbalest. Actually, I should just apply bandages. Easy. Perhaps the 
Use the holy water, get the busts, and uh, we'll need to return to this room later anyway, so let's just proceed for now. Can ignore the books. Should we ignore the books? You read the books. Nothing. Okay. I can handle nothing. Yeah. Didn't notice the trap. What was this thing? That was something good. Thanks, I hate it. Let's kill the swine. Okay. If it goes before my arbalest, I think I'm just ignoring it. Okay. I think I'll just try to kill it with AoE the next turn. Not a fan. What is scurvy? Debuff. Minus 30 dodge. Not good. Uh, minus bleed resist, minus move resist. Don't really care. So I think I'll just use bellow. It's either bellow or guard. I like bellow more there. Perfect. And then ignore the heaver for now and just go for the thunderer. Solves that issue. Then um, I need to do like one heal. Might as well just do it right now. Can always kill the heaver later if it needs uh, to happen. But probably AoE will be enough to kill it. Like this. Now we just do command. Can guard him. Probably should. And then you stun one of the flesh eaters, ideally. And we kill another one. Not exactly, but almost. So, you kill the flesh eater who has the buff. We can't really stun another one, because Vestal will need to do some healing. But after that, we can just win. Or can we? Command? This expedition at least promises success. Hmm. Well, don't really need, like, a lot of this stuff. There are some fights still left, potentially, but probably anti-venom is not. Um, bandages I can definitely use. I'm not sure about anti-venoms. I don't think so. I think I can, can get rid of anti-venoms and just continue like this for now. So that's it, right? Okay. Uh, continue. Continue. So what is this? Dark altar. Is it anti-venom? <laughs> really? None of those? Really? Okay. Buff. Yeah, some damage and also cure and stuff like that. Okay. Sounds good. So, let's collect the rest of this stuff. First of all, this chest, please. I don't think I need holy water, really. Right? Don't think so. No shovels for sure. No, no shovels. Well, there might be a shovel needed uh, in one of those curious potentially. Should probably ignore those though. There are a lot. There's a lot of stuff. I can just safely check it. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's the that's the holy water. Then um, yeah, that's also not a shovel. So don't really need shovels. That's for sure. Need a lot of holy waters. Don't really need medicinal herbs. Don't also really need to continue to that empty room in the end of the hallway. Doesn't really do anything. So, get this stuff. Can get rid of medicinal herbs. Can get rid of torches as well. Torches are like whatever. Herbs are not necessary anymore. Let's do something about this trap.
Whoa, 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 that was too close. I wasn't paying attention to the ground. Um, might as well just use it with Arbalest. Garbage as usual. Surprise, surprise. Okay. So what do we have there? This thing. I do have bandages, that's not a problem. Glittering gold, um, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Torches, probably. Don't really need torches. And actually can use some food. Okay. Perfect. Uh, that's a horrible idea. Oh. Maybe not so much, actually. Fated. Chance to turn any miss into a hit. That's incredible. Good for you. Good for you. Hello. Can we kill the witch? So, honestly, I think... I think it's Bello, actually. Then, uh, ideally, you just judgment it. And one more hit from anyone. Right? Right. Okay. And then you just hit this guy. Perfect. Yeah, it's like things like that. It just... It looks good. I don't know. The squad definitely has some potential. Um... Command? What is the buff, by the way? Plus 5 speed for blind fire. Interesting. Okay, this guy is dead. Can apply some more food, I suppose. Be wary. Don't really want to use bandages, but food is okay. Uh, there is no way those onyxes are better than just one full stack of crests. Don't really care about jades. And let's collect the rest of the stuff. So, one fight is left, unless we have some random fights. Food? No. No. Don't care about the torch. Might as well use it, though. I technically still didn't see, like, one last curio. Probably shouldn't have done that, just in case it's a uh, shambler. But, you know. Whatever. Uh, ignore? Ignore. Emerald has to be worse, I think. Yeah, probably. Last fight. I see. So, mm, bolster, please. And we really would like to kill the Thunderer. So, ideally... Well, that's the perfect scenario, yes. You got it. Stun. Uh, I can mark it. This is really not a lot of damage, actually. Really. That's very low. Let's mark. Okay. Well, uh... I will use Bellow. That will act as a stun this time. And just one judgment, maybe? No, need a bit more. Which is okay. Can just finish it off. Rubies. I do want rubies. Uh, I'm not sure if I still need those keys. 
I don't really see. What is this? Is that another bandage thing? Like, I think that's the curio. Yeah, I think um, keys are not necessary anymore. So do something like this. Yeah. And another bandage thing. Gold. Okay, that's fine. Can we get a food event, by the way? I'm just waiting, like, until that event and nothing is happening. What's up with that? Where's my food event? So that I can just drop it finally. You know, I just feel it. Like, the moment I drop it, it happens. <laughs> I don't need bandages, so I'll just drop them instead. Okay. That's the last curio. That's horrible. Horrible. That's not even worth dropping my food for. What's up with that? Wow. That's really bad. Okay, well, and now the dungeon is actually done. So, complete. Is shaken. That's a lot of heirlooms, which I can't really even use, but... Alright, level 6. Doesn't really even do anything, right? Alright. Mankind Hater. Fire with a fighter. Oh, that's so damn good. Oh, Eagle Eye. Eagle Eye was also really good, though. Need to uh, fix off guard as well. Need to fix a lot of things. <laughs> oh, man, I hate all of those. <laughs> This is so bad. Okay, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Time, you will know 100 percent shards collected. Um, I'll do like one more run at least, at least one more run for sure. But not right now though. It will be after I complete the darkest dungeon most likely. So anything else? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, well that was successful overall, so for now thanks for watching and we'll continue in the next one.